Hey, good morning. I want to talk about safety protocols and red light runners. Um, a few weeks ago, or recently, I had uh, some incidents that were pretty frightening. I had two students. This is about crossing. So um, my first student got off the bus. Everyone was stopped around me. Uh, went to her place of crossing about 10 feet in front of the bus. Waited for my hand to drop, signaling that it was safe for her to cross. And there was a car behind me and he was stopped behind me and after I dropped my hand and my student was walking across the car behind me decided to come out around the left to go around um, thankfully I checked my mirrors to the left uh, again and saw that this was happening and laid on my horn and uh, again thankfully the driver eventually stopped he actually ended up right around my driver's window and my student was about to the edge of the bus where you know just before she would enter into on the street um, with oncoming traffic where the car was and um, after I laid on my horn she reacted perfectly so bravo, Samantha, you did exactly what you were taught to do. She looked for the danger and then went right back to her place of crossing um, so I could cross her when the danger was gone. And like I said, the driver did eventually do the right thing and stopped. So that turned out beautifully and the protocols, the safety protocols in place worked beautifully. So always remember, fellow drivers, please, Set your parking brake. Take your gear shift out of take your shift out of gear and watch your mirrors. Watch your mirrors. It's so very important. I know that it was paramount in, in having a positive outcome in this incident. My second one that took place not too long after that incident took place, uh, another crosser and this child is typically a very good crosser. He got off the bus. I had my hand up. I looked to do a traffic check and before I could come back to drop my hand to indicate that it was okay because it wasn't okay, um, he started walking. Uh, once again, I laid on the horn because I could see a car that had no intention of stopping traveling in the opposite direction of the bus, so coming toward us right at him. And when I honked my horn, he had a completely different reaction than my other student. And um, as I honked, he started to run. And I kept blowing my horn, hoping that he would look and stop, and he didn't. He ran faster. His mother was in the yard screaming. Once again, the driver did finally stop way too close for comfort. I feel like this is happening more and more, and it makes me very nervous. So that both of those incidents ended perfectly, although none of it would have been an issue if the drivers of the vehicles surrounding me when my lights come on, when our lights come on, when any school bus driver's lights come on, would have stopped. That's your one job. You see red lights flashing, you stop. I did have the opportunity to talk to that child the next day. And I asked him, I said, Riker, what were you thinking? I didn't drop my hand yet. And he said, I, I couldn't see your hand. The sun was shining in my eyes and I just couldn't see your hand. So our children can do unpredictable things. So all of the safety precautions that we put in place are really important and we have to work on them. It doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't happen if you just tell them once. Make sure you are reviewing these safety pra practices and protocols with them every day, or not every day, but make sure you're re revisiting these safety practices and protocols. Make sure you're setting your brake. Make sure you're taking your gear out, of, shift your gear into neutral, and check your mirrors. Motorists, please, when you see my red lights on, when you see any school bus driver's red lights on, stop. That is your job, that is the law. We need to keep our children safe and that is how we do it. Please help us keep our children safe.
Thanks for watching.